and needed some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and the most reliable coins on the market right now. Make sure to use code Poodle for 20% off at checkout. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate video, guys. Today, I'm going to be going over the most feared promo that officially starts tomorrow at 4 p.m. in Madden, guys. I have like 100 screenshots to go over, lots to go over, so I got to keep this intro very fast, guys. If you're new to the channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button, boys. We're going to get over everything. You're not going to miss this. We just passed 10K, so smash that subscribe button, boys. Comment down below what you guys think of this most feared promo. Turn on that noti bell, boys. And don't forget, it's a day long giveaway. If we get 500 likes on any video today, we'll be giving away 50K to a random commenter. All you got to do down below is hit that like button. Pass 500 likes on especially this video. And then all you gotta do is comment down below 50k or done. And I'll pick a random commenter if we hit it by for this video by tomorrow night. So guys, make sure to hit that like button. Comment down below to enter the giveaway, boys. And let's get into all these screenshots over on the Photoshop screen. Alright guys, sorry for um, how it's gonna look. I gotta get this all done. So disregard the rapid speaking that I'm gonna be doing. And all the fast talking I do, there's so much to get over in a short period of time. I don't want to make this video 20 minutes for you guys. So initially, I'm doing it on Photoshop because where all I have my pictures right here and all my screenshots layered in order from from pretty much what they showed on stream to the end. So I'm going to recap you guys and everything. So here we got Kralo. This is what the background's looking like on the ultimate kickoff and the solo. So that's obviously normal. Next, we got the most feared item set subcategories. Use craft materials to earn scary, strong, fast, sharp players. So that is it, guys. Those are the type of players. We got scary, strong, scary, fast, scary, sharp, which I'm guessing is smartness. Uh, speed strength and those are the three main categories next on the list we got the most feared welcome pack now guys i preach this very important do not quick sell this ray lewis from what kralo said is that this 80 ray lewis although it gives you 250 bats do not quick sell it on halloween or whenever they become enraged he will become probably like a 90 something overall and be a top middle linebacker in the game so save him for all you know money spent guys and most of any team you will have a top tier ray lewis for a few days during halloween when he they do get enraged so make sure you hold on to that ray lewis do not quick sell it made that very clear on the stream just getting all my thoughts together for the next screenshot guys so here's the first set for the scary strong we got 85 marcus cannon tremaine edmonds will disley and star Lou Lely. Star Luda Lely, guys. This pretty much works kind of like how Team of the Week works. These are the lower P sets for the Scary Strong. Um, Marcus Cannon's decent. Nothing too great here. You know, for Scary Strong guys, you'd assume they'd have better strength. They didn't really give that many good guys your good strength besides Marcus Cannon, but he's the lineman. Next, we got Jonathan Allen, one of the top set pieces for the Scary Strong. He's an 88 right end, 68 speed, 79 strength. 79, I mean, sorry, 79 acceleration, 87 strength, 84 tackle, 90 play rec, 82 block shedding, 89 power move, and 71 finesse move. This card's decent. Wish his block shed was a little bit higher. He has a really good pass rusher, but his speed is way too low for my liking, although his strength is pretty good. You'd think it'd be higher, though. Cam Newton, guys, is kind of a banger here. His stats are decent, but I know you guys get very hyped for Cam Newton cards. 6 foot 5, 82 speed, 90 throw power. So his throw accuracy short, mid, and 80 and deep is an 88, 85, 82. So his, his throw is kind of like Lamar Jackson and Vic. And then his throw under pressure is pretty bad. His throw on the runs like Vic and Lamar Jackson with the play action. Pretty much this card is Michael Vick with, without that much speed or Lamar Jackson without that much speed. So, Paris, not a fan of the new Cam Newton. Although I know a lot of you guys will probably be really hyped about this. But let's keep moving on. So next we got, this is the scary fast. We got Tevin Coleman, Dante Fowler Jr., Jakeem Grant, and Sha Shaquem Griffin. Now, for Tevin Coleman, he's an 89 speed, guys. That's going to be a budget beast type uh, running back. Going to be one of the fastest running backs in the game that you can probably get for a low price. Of, not initially, but eventually. Then we got Dante Fowler Jr. for the Los Angeles Rams. Only has an 80 speed, which is pretty low, although it is an outside linebacker. Decent card. Now, Jakeem Grant's going to be another budget piece at a 91 speed. Going to be a John Ross, Marquise Brown type, very similar. And Jakeem Griffin, right outside linebacker from the Seahawks. He has an 86 speed at right outside linebacker, which is still pretty good, guys. If you're a Shaquem Griffin fan, this card could be for you. Next, we got Jabril Peppers, 88 overall. Strong safety for the most uh, scary fast. He's got 86 speed, 89 excel, 90 play rec, 81 tackle, 87 hit power. This card's going to be a budget type beast if his price allows for it. He's going to be super fast, super quick, really good play rec, and really good hit power. This guy's going to be a beast for a lot of teams if he fits into your scheme. Next, on the next screenshot, we got Tyler Lockett, 92 overall wide receiver. You guys already know Lockett in real life. One of the fastest guys in the field. 90 speed, 82 jumping, 93 catching, 86 catch in traffic, 85 spec catch. 90 deep route running is really good. 87 medium route running and 84 short route running. This Tyler Lockett is pretty much a Tyree kill with route running and hands. You can pretty much, this card pretty much is Tyree kill just with hands and catching for the time being until they release another Tyree kill. Now let's get on to the next set of screenshots, which you should have right here. We have tons of them. We got Nikki Roby Coleman, J.R. Sweezy, Carl Joseph, and Jacoby Brissett for the, I believe this is the Scary Sharp. I guess it's going to be like really high awareness cards 
Cornerback Rob Roby Coleman. He looks pretty good. He's pretty decent. Nothing too great there. Jarrett Sweezy again, 70 blocking, nothing great. Carl Joseph, good hit power, decent speed. And then Jacob Brissett's really, really bad, actually. Don't really see the purpose of those cards right there. And then we got, my bad, Earl Thomas, 92 overall free safety. So the beauty of this Earl Thomas card, his speed's decent, his acceleration's decent, but his play rec and his zone coverage and his hit power and his man, pretty, pretty solid. Powered up with full cams, this card could potentially get a 99 zone coverage with a really high play rec. He's going to be a lockdown zone corner. The only issue with him is that he's going to get mossed here and there, and he's going to get uh, trucked over. But if you want like lockdown corner type guys who could potentially play cornerback, just like Earl Thomas can, he's a lockdown type guy like that. Although his speed's a little low. Then we got Michael Thomas as the top set piece for one of the most fear promo set pieces. He is, and this is the most, I think this is the set pieces for the master, which I'll get to. This is Michael Thomas, 85 speed. Right there, that kind of kills the card. You can't give a 91 Michael Thomas an 85 speed. He's faster than that. You got 86 jumping, 92 catching, 91 catching traffic, 90 spec catch. So across the board, above 90 catching, really good short route running, really good medium route running, 89, and a deep route running of an 84. The only issue with this card is indeed his speed, which does kind of suck. Now let's see, next on the list, we got Anthony Barr, which is one of the other top masterpieces. He's got 84 speed. I love that side linebacker. 85 acceleration, 73 strength, 89 tackle, 89 play rec, 83 block shedding, 60 power moves, and 53 finesse moves. He's going to be more of like a zone type uh, linebacker because he's not the best pass rusher. He can run stuff and decently play the zone, decent user card. Nothing too special, but definitely going to be a good card. Just nothing like game breaking. Then we got Vita Vea. Vita Vea has been a man for quite a since he's been in the league pretty much. We've had him as a gauntlet player. We've had him in Madden in general. 65 speed at defensive tackle, a little bit slow. Block shedding's too low, play rec's too low, power moves too low. I don't know what's with Madden lately in dropping defensive tackles that can't run stuff or pass rush and are slow. That's kind of an elevator card right there. Definitely not going to be on any of my teams for the most part. Then we got Ray Lewis, by the way, guys. That is the master for the most feared for the time being, guys. Just a quick little reminder. I have some notes for you guys to go over. So the most feared promo is going to be a two-part program with the first one dropping tomorrow at uh, 4 p.m. Eastern time and the second half of it dropping a week from now. And uh, we're going to have a new currency, by the way, guys. We are going to have bats, which you guys have probably seen at some point, but you will see more towards the middle of this video. And um, that's pretty much it so far. So I was writing the currency. Now let's go through the, mo the Ray Lewis. He's got 999 salary cap. That's definitely wrong. I hope they fix that. And now he's got 87 speed, 87 excel, 87 strength, 92 tackle, 92 play rec, 89 block shit, 92 hit power, 68 zone coverage. This card's a beast. Similar to last year's card, except they finally did what we've been asking. They gave Ray Lewis speed. Ray Lewis with an 83 got with an 83 speed was always killer, although his stats are amazing. He can run stuff like a, a defensive lineman. He can hit like a hard-hitting linebacker. He can even play the user like a top-tier user linebacker. This is going to be the best linebacker in the game. Might have to give him a scoop. Ray Lewis is one of my favorite players of all time. So definitely got to give that guy consideration right there. Next, guys, we do get a team captain token, as you guys can see. If you look in the top right corner, it does appear as though there is a new level cap. It is a We see 60 with, uh, with level to still go. I don't know, guys, but it's looking like we might have another level cap, which is going to be crazy because I'm going to have to be grinding levels and doing a bunch of stuff tomorrow. But, whew, a little overwhelming there. But so far, that's what I'm seeing. We got the earn a team captain token by earning 10 stars in the most year challenges. So that'll be pretty quick. That means that your Shazier, your Herman Moore, your Ty Law, or your Dallas Scott Clark will be getting even better. Next, we got, these are what you guys are going to see, the milestones. Take a look right there. We got 100 bats. That's the bats currency. Uh, 30 stars and 85 overall in that most feared fantasy pack. And then four tier four is 600 bats. I do not know how much bats factor in just yet to like the uh, 600 a lot or that a little bit. But we will be seeing as I do have more screenshots going over that. And there is also cauldron crafting, which you guys will see later in the video at some point. As you guys can hear, these are the solo challenges. Why do ghouls have the best offense? They're gobbling up yards. Fourth quarter, two, uh, two minutes left. So, so far, they're going to start off pretty easy solos. They might get harder. There might even be some riddles in there, but that remains to be seen as we go through. Here are the collections. Scary Strong, Scary Sharp, Scary Fast, and The Master. That one's blurred out for some reason. Not entirely sure. Let's keep on going. Um, so, these are what the collections look like. You see Earl Thomas. I didn't have all three screenshots. I just took one. The Masters are going to have sets just like this. You have to collect crafting materials. So, for the Smart or Sharp, it's going to be Perception. For the Speed, it's going to be like those Feathers. And for the Strong, it's going to be like those... Uh, shoulder pad looking things for all you football players you know exactly what i'm talking about but it costs 95 of them which you can get through solos you get these cauldron crafting pieces do da daily solos regular solos objective list and by the way guys apparently there is a secret reward from objective list if you go search through the objective list uh, Krail said there'll be something that there that you could see that's like a secret little reward you get from it so make sure to stay on top of that then we have these sets. We got Ray Lewis, Most Feared. It takes three of them. So this set for Ray Lewis, I believe, is going to cost three of the MasterCard, which is uh, Earl Thomas, Cam Newton, and Tyler Lockett. 
And supposedly what he said is that if you do this set, you get all three of them back now, or you get one of them back now. You guys, I think you get one of them back now. So that is really awesome. I've been telling you guys I missed when we used to do the master set to get one back now. So it might honestly be worth it for me to get the Ray Lewis set done. And then maybe take one of them back now. I'm not entirely sure which one I'd want to take, whether it be Lockett or Earl Thomas. Definitely not Cam Newton, in my opinion. I don't think his stats are justified. But that will be really cool. I'll go over all that, obviously, as the, the promo of Wales, and we know everything about it. Next, we got Cauldron Master Michael Thomas, 91 overall. These are what the sets are looking like for them. It's going to cost one border, one background, and one player. It's a suit earn. Exchange crawling components to earn it. So you got to have cauldron components to get these players, apparently. Um, not entirely sure how that all works yet. But I do know you can get that from solo challenges. So that remains to be seen also. Next on the screenshot list, we got... This is the packs and what the packs are looking like. We got the 25 times most feared bundle. And then we got... So this is going to be 25 packs. 24 packs in the 88 plus overall most feared players that does kind of guarantee you one of the top players or one of the set pieces we got the individual most feared packs that will be 28k i imagine they'll be giving you either guaranteed bats or guaranteeing college and crafting items we got the 85 plus that we get for a dollar well 85 overall base which is for a dollar which i think is usually really worth it let's see what we got next in the screenshot list we got the most feared uniform fantasy pack so that's 600 um which is 600 month bucks which is going to be six dollars for that we also get the reroll sets which i'm going to go over here i think i have that right here so for a 77 to 81, it's going to cost 565 bats. So pretty much those 600 bats we saw from the solo is the equivalent of like 2 to 4K max. And we go back to the screenshot, 47,000. So it would take a ton of those bats to get them. So obviously 600 bats was not that much. We can get a 77 plus reroll with 250 training. I don't know how worth it that one is, but you have to pull like an 82 or better or 83 or better to actually make it back on that. I already know a lot of YouTubers are going to be spamming that pack right there. I don't know if I have that kind of a commitment to re-rolls and then obviously there's going to be a new house rules guys super hyped for this so the way this works oh by the way guys before we get into this there is going to be a solo challenge that you can play daily you can play it 10 times daily for crafting materials and you can only play it 10 times and losses you get do count so it's not like you can win a maximum of 10 times you can't win 10 times unless you win 10 in a row you can only play up to 10 times so you better win them all in a row and then we got the house rules uh, it's going to be a not a limited time house rules as in two days or one day. It's going to be, I believe, a week long, if not promo long. And pretty much if you get 75 total wins, it gives you one nap masterpiece like Earl Thomas, Michael Thomas, or Cam, I mean, Earl Thomas, Cam Newton, or Tyler Lockett, I believe. So you're going to want to be definitely playing those, but it is promo long or week long. So it's not like you have to get 75 wins in a day. Oh my God, that scared the hell out of me. I don't know what you started, but guys, it's going to pretty much be that you have to get the 75 wins total. So if you play like 10 games a day and you work that over the course of the promo, if it is, that's really easy. If it's a week, it's going to be a little bit harder. We can get it done. We played worse than that. And uh, the way it's going to work is that one of the rules is 20-yard touchdowns give you points. I forget what the other one was. I missed it on the stream. But I think that pretty much wraps up everything. I think for the most part, that wraps up everything you need to know about this promo. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed the info and the content. That is about it for the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you're new to the channel, make sure to go down below. Hit that subscribe button. Make sure to run it up, boys. We hit over 10K. We're grinding to 11K now. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed this video and this helped you guys out tremendously. If it did, comment down below what you're most excited for and most feared. Make sure to smash that like button, boys. Let's get this video to 500 likes. We can hit that like goal. And if we do, comment down below. 500K and done. If we hit the like goal, I'll be giving away 50K, guys. I should have said comment down below 50K. My bad on that. But, guys, if we hit it, you'll be entered for the giveaway. So, make sure to run that like button up. Comment down below to enter. And don't forget to subscribe if you guys enjoyed the channel. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully, you guys see this soon. I'm out. See you guys in the next video. Peace. Thank you.